Hey guys, we've had a really bad flight. With bad, bad flight. Bad, bad flight bad. with Derek. Um, Rookie error, some may say. You can see the burn marks on those motor mounts. Uh, I wonder if anyone knows what's what's happened with Derek's quad. Have a guess. Um, anyway, it starts with the word F. Starts with F. <laughs> so guys, um, important thing with with a fail safe. Okay. Now, Derek's using the uh, Free Sky receivers, the D4R2s. D4R2s. Somewhere in there, trust me. And what's happened is the fail safe was actually turned on for your receiver. This is what we think's happening. That's right. It we, would appear. We believe, we believe the, the uh, fail safe was on. What that means is that the Nazi board fail safe hasn't detected the fail safe and it hasn't switched the motors off. And this quad has gone flying away at full throttle, or whatever the last throttle Nearly position was, throttle. stacked, and the motors didn't want to stop, and um, kind of burnt out, almost caught on fire. So we've got two stuffed motors. Two stuffed motors. Now, I'll show you what failsafe is supposed to do, okay? So we've got the transmitter turned on, I'll plug in. Derek's going to hold it. I'm holding it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hold the bump head. Okay, now I'm going to switch off the remote. Okay. So as, as you can see, what's happened is um, the Nazi failsafe has cut in. Now before the Nazi failsafe cuts in, it does a blip to 1500. Hopefully they've fixed that. I'm running an old firmware 1.9. Um, what we also notice is even if you just arm and switch off okay you still get that 1500 mid throttle blip um, so unfortunately um, if you're say 4s powered and you get a 1500 blip while you're in the takeoff position yeah while you're while adjusting you're, something while you're armed it's going to fly straight into your, your face, face. Yeah. so obviously keep it disarmed until you're far away <laughs> okay but um in Derek's case we've got a real bit of a dilemma here because because the only thing we, we can think of is that maybe his free sky receiver is um is already programmed with its own failsafe and the Nazi failsafe isn't kicking in that's the only uh, explanation yeah, Derek's going to look into it but, but I'm um, guessing that's what it is. The default free sky is yeah. probably last known position, yeah. which in my case was straight down to straight. Yeah. And that was a really costly mistake for Derek. Now he is probably accepting donations and um, new motors. <laughs> but um, I'm sure we'll get this thing back in the air. And, and I'm sure all of you will just say a rookie error, and you're yeah, probably yeah. right. And it's never going to happen to you guys, right? No. <laughs> okay. Check your fail safe on your Fry Sky RX. Okay. We will we'll, try and work out how to set that next. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come back when we've got a solution, but um, it looks like for the older kind of receivers, like this um, non Fry Sky, uh, we're, we're okay. All right. Um, we'll get back to you soon. Thanks.